Once you get up beyond the clouds, there's a whole new story to tell. There's this treasure trove of data that will really help us better understand uh, what's going on down below. We here at Acme are trying to make the world a better place by taking that vast sea of data that are out there and distilling it down into something that people can use to make their decisions better. Our main focus has been the MyRadar smartphone app, but we have some side projects here and there, including launching satellites. What inspires me is knowing that this app is used by millions of people every day, that it's been proven over time to be incredibly useful, in some cases, life-saving. In MyRadar, we had gotten really good with rendering map data. And NASA and our government has produced this really cool imagery from Mars. I thought, how neat would it be if we could take that imagery and show it in the app so that people could basically browse around the planet and take a look at it. So we had already had this imagery from Mars in the app. And I thought, you know, there's no reason why we can't take the same technology and apply it to artificial worlds, specifically the artificial planets that were in this game in Star Citizen. And the end result was that you could use our app to peruse these artificial moons and planets from the game. We spent the last 10 years working with other people's data, recognizing the limitations of that data. So we decided, you know what, we're going to do it. Um, it may sound crazy, but we're going to build our own satellite and we're going to launch it. It's going to look at the Earth using a special hyperspectral camera, which is basically a technical way of saying that it's going to look at the Earth in multiple frequencies to give us multiple bits of information. And what's even further unique about it is that it's going to be doing it in a stereoscopic way. Outside of weather, it allows us to look at agriculture. It allows us to look at geography, ocean temperatures. There's really no limit to the types of information that we can start to glean out of this thing. I think over the last several decades, science fiction has always inspired engineers to create the technology that they've seen in some of these stories. Automatic door openers, they come from Star Trek. The flip phone, uh, that has its origins in the communicator from Star Trek. Augmented reality interfaces from Minority Report. You know, those creative inspirations are what drove the real world engineers to make these things into a reality. Star Citizen is now part of that inspiration. You know, they're right up there with Star Wars and Star Trek. Chris Roberts has done a really good job of creating this artificial universe with planets and spaceships and space stations and stars. And you can explore this vast universe that he's created. So I thought to myself, what a better way to pay tribute to Star Citizen and the inspiration that it's kind of given me than to take our satellite and put their logo on it and then send it up into orbit. In the real world, this actually makes this the first computer game with its logo on the side of a device that's actually in orbit around the planet. It really takes the notion of being a space sim to another level. We've taken another piece of science fiction and made it real. Our satellites are going to have a positive impact on the world simply because we're going to be providing additional data that does not exist right now. We'll be able to look at storms in ways that nobody else is doing, and the data that we'll be able to contribute to forecasting models will help save lives, ultimately.